like house plants that don't need much water. Snake plant Native to West Africa, the snake plant gets its name from its long slender leaves and is also sometimes referred to as mother-in-law stone because of the leaves sharpness. The super adaptable snake plant can get by with minimal sunlight and minimal water, making it a very forgiving plant indeed. An added bonus. One study by NASA found that snake plants are especially good at improving indoor air quality. Desert Rose As you might expect from its name, the Desert Rose gets along great in dry climates and can go long periods of time without water. This popular houseplant does need plenty of sunlight and it can't survive cold climates, but otherwise it's very low in maintenance. One important warning, the Desert Rose sap is poisonous, so keep it out of reach of pets and children and wash your hands if you get sap on them. Tillandsias Also known as air plants, Tillandsias are some of the oldest houseplants around. They are epiphytes, which means they absorb nutrients and moisture from the air, rather than soil. Instead of planting it in a pot, you can mount it on just about any surface. Instead of watering it, you just need to give it a generous misting with a spray bottle a couple of times a week. Most varieties prefer to be soaked in water for about 30 minutes each week. You can then reuse the water for other plants. Zizi plant This tropical plant is a fixture in malls and offices here in the US, where it's usually planted in massive quantities and blends into the background. Plant one on its own though, and you'll really see the beauty of the Zizi's lustrous vivid green leaves. Overwatering the zizi plant is actually more dangerous than underwatering, so it's great for occasionally neglecting but still caring plant owners. Ponytail palm Another plant that really lives up to its name, the ponytail palm's curious leaves often resemble a flowing mop of hair. Although it's a common house plant, the ponytail palm can also grow up to 6 feet tall when left outside. This amazing low-maintenance plant only needs watering every week or two during the sunnier seasons and only once a month during winter.